Hey everybody, welcome to Not Quite Camping with Steve. We're going on a road trip today because this showed up. Oh, yes. Um, Starlink Satellite Internet, uh, they have a new product out. It's for RVs or designed to be taken around on the road, which kind of fits my style. We have it for the house. Uh, we originally got that when it first came out and it's been pretty good, but we're going to test this out and you know, go over some differences with it and uh, go for a picnic. Starlink for RVs is slower than the regular one and it costs more than the regular one. But the large benefit involved is you can pause the service. So if you're not taking it camping with you, you're not paying for it. Uh, you can do that in like monthly intervals. So basically you pay for a month and then uh, at the end of the month, if you're done camping, you don't pay anymore. Now you can add portability onto a Starlink like what we have at the house and move it around. The only problem with that is I need internet at the house too and the cable goes like right through the wall. So it would be a little tricky to set up and tear down all the time. And it's one of the uh, older big circular dishes. So uh, it's a little less convenient to carry around. So this was just a, a very good fit. Of course, there are some folks that don't know what Starlink is and probably don't care, but here's the explanation. Um, Elon Musk blasted off a whole bunch of satellites and they're flying around uh, beaming satellite internet down to Earth. And what you get for the house is a little, it's not a dish, it's actually a phased array antenna, but it looks like a little satellite dish and it moves around and finds a good spot to look at the sky and then you get um, high-speed internet. That's a big problem in rural areas like this and like where I live because um, none of the companies actually want to put out any fiber optics. Like, it's it's dismal. They don't even want to run DSL lines. Uh, there's no cable internet. Uh, pretty much you got cell phone LTE internet. And that is not really copacetic with uploading YouTube videos. So the Starlink internet has a far better download than you get with any of these local incumbents. This looks like a fine spot to test out the dish. Um, it needs a clear view of the sky because it won't go through trees very easily. And it comes with like a 75 foot uh, cord so you can do that fairly easily. Uh, there's an app that you scan the sky and it'll show you if there's anything in the way. So we're going to try that and see what we got. These are pretty straightforward to set up. Stand. Dish. Long cable on it. some power let's see no lights that's not a good thing I guess we wait see if it'll start doing something it's drawing 27 watts right now we'll oh, better charge this oh there it goes doing something So I just kind of logged into an unsecured Starlink. It's putting out a Wi-Fi signal. It's asking me to create a network. So let's come up with a network name and password. Okay, the name of the network is step two because uh, Hunker Down is the original one at the acreage. Now this is pretty much like pointing straight up because that's kind of where we are. Um, in the States, they kind of point to the north. 
um, some places here it points kind of to the south, but it just kind of tries to point where all the satellites are. So right now that little dish is drawing about 55 watts. It's up and down. Uh, our solar isn't quite keeping up with that because why would there be sun when I'm trying to film a video like this, of course? And it looks like it's updating or something. Uh, there's still no signal yet. So time for a delicious step two. Uh, driving today, so we're not gonna do any of the, the good ones. I have to save that for another day. Mm. Uh, unhealthy. Let's see. Yeah, still no lights blinking on this. Uh, I really haven't done much research at all on the square dish setups. Uh, I just had that big old circular one, but we'll be able to check this out in no time. Looks like the, the watts have dropped down to like 32, 33 watts. Maybe that means it's updated itself. Took about 15 minutes uh, and it's connected. Who's over there? Oh, it's moving around again. Well, okay. Uh, well, I guess we'll do a speed test and see if it likes its new position better. It pings a little high. Well, I think that's an acceptable camping download speed. I know these things do go faster, but it all depends on your geographical area, if there's a lot of other people using it. Oh, that's an upload I can get behind. I love to see around 20. That lets me upload videos quickly. Well, I'm not going to sit here and do speed tests all day. I just wanted to uh, see if it works and kind of see if the solar can keep up with powering it because uh, that'll be a real game changer. When we uh, take the school bus on these really remote logging roads, I'm very, very nervous um, for the next time it breaks down, which it will because um, it's an older bus. It's hard to find anybody that can work on these things, let alone tow them. And if you're coupling that with no cell service, you know, we can't exactly just text uh, our location to roadside assistance and have them come and scoop the bus for us because it takes uh, heavy equipment to move that thing around and it takes a serious shop to work on them. Uh, we pretty much have to research, you know, what's the closest school district, uh, find out who their mechanic is, and then get things towed so we'll be able to do that in case of emergency uh, with this little Starlink thing um, pretty well anywhere in the world by next year uh, so yay um, but let's go sit by the lake and have a snack hmm. fresh delicious bunwich today never been here before I just found a road that goes to the lake and I'm seeing a tantalizing island over there you know how I am with my islands hmm. the dish prompted me to do a little uh, update on it and the speeds are actually uh, noticeably faster uh, I had one that was like 200 down uh, around 20 up so I'm very pleased with that and uh, yep the solar is kind of matching the uh, the draw of this, but we'll tweak that and mess with that a little bit later. Uh, but this looks like a pretty good camping spot I'm gonna have to come back to. It uh, seems to be public land. There's no signs to say anything about trespassing. So, bleed ignorance. It's a pretty successful test in my books. Time to stow this thing and uh, wanna check out some of these back roads a little bit more. And uh, if there's more places like this, I should be set for a while for little relatively close by camping spots. I just find it so relaxing to aimlessly drive back roads. I could do this all day long. So I know that uh, having internet and cell phones kind of goes against the spirit of camping. Um, however, I upload those experiences onto YouTube, so I like to have a uh, connection I can use. Now, the remote spots that are best for filming are also the worst for trying to upload anything. 
support to stay in touch uh, in case of emergencies. So I'm very pleased to have this. Of course, I know it's not for everybody. A lot of people specifically go camping uh, and leave their phone at home so that they can just unplug, and that is great. But there's also people that uh, go camping and, you know, if it's a rainy day, they want to watch a little Netflix uh, in the camper. And, people camp in all different ways so um, I think it's fine however people camp and uh, whether you're unplugged whether you've got the internet going whether you're gaming in the middle of nowhere uh, it's it's great to get outdoors you don't have to be constantly in a survival situation uh, you know you can relax from time to time and uh, go out on a hike come back watch a movie um, you know a balance of things but uh, that's uh, gonna open up a whole world for us. Uh, heading up, I, I want to go so far north. As soon as they get some more satellites covering uh, the extreme far north, uh, we're going to take that bus right to the Arctic Ocean if it's if it's going to make it. And uh, we'll be able to do that relatively safely uh, despite all the ice roads and uh, muskeg and polar bears. Uh, and polar bears is one of the big reasons we're, we're going to take the bus up there because I am not tent camping on the beach uh, in polar bear country. There's, there's limits. Thanks for stopping by for a visit today. Every time I get close to this house and have to get involved with it, things actually really end up suffering on as far as my adventures go. So let's look at the tree house. There's been uh, some changes here. How about that? We got uh, we got some power in here now. Um, we don't actually have it hooked up to power, but it's ready to it's ready to be done. We'll have this little light up there, and uh, it'll really tie the place together. It's yeah, it's got a ceiling. It's insulated, wired. Uh, yeah, it's going to be great, um, and that'll be where I have to sleep when I'm bad. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So, I'm going to be heading out for an adventure. Probably um, three or four days of travel, just to get, uh, to get some adventures, to get some some stuff filmed um and i'm i'm really excited about this so please stay tuned and um uh there's definitely going to be a video for sure on thursday i do have beer donation shout outs um they're gonna have to be on the next video because uh i really hate putting them on a mediocre video where i'm just testing out a satellite dish so uh they'll be coming right up and i'm gonna be camping up a storm here in the next few days so um, stay tuned guys and uh, cheers, hunker down.